Matka DNA, that's exactly how we start, is working through partners. We have more than 200 partners in the world. We have really long time partners also because that's the way we deliver our technology on the field. So the business model, not just let's say the commercial slogan if you want, but really the business model of our company is to work to develop in-house the technology and develop in the field through the partners. We also lately realized that from the headquarters standpoint of view, we have to build up first-class component centers, which is going to be actually here in these locations, uh, which is going to be the main point of reference for certain applications. Because in our industry, what happens sometimes is you have customers that tell you, well, I would like to have, can you please verify if I can do this application? Can you tell me the speed of that machine in case of that specific kind of technology? Well, Matica Component Center is exactly going to be addressing that problem. More than 95% of the customers come from outside Italy and Germany. So we, need to have, we had the need to be closer to our customers. Second of all, because you cannot really sell any technologies, in my humble opinion, without having also enough to sell services. You have to be close to your customer, no matter what technology you're providing them, because you need to support them on every day. Uh, and that's the reason why we have these, what we call hubs, basically. There are competent centers, local competent centers. So these are the reasons behind to be, to be and to becoming global, because you have to deliver a technology on the field every day. Well, I think that there are, at least for Matica Core Business, two major trends. One is exactly secure IDs, driven by the security needs everybody else in the world has. These days, particularly for the anti-terrorism, security has become the issue. So a company like Matica has to provide systems and services and people that make sure that what we basically deploy in the field are more secure than they were basically five years ago. And this means more technology, maybe biometrics technology, so all of these goes in the directions of basically making sure that we can identify uh, the people. And I do believe that there will be an amazing growth in this field in the year to come. In new technology like biometrics, as I just mentioned, but also with more features on the cars in order to be more sophisticated and less uh, fakeable. On the other field, secure payments is facing a challenge because there is a shift from big systems to financial instant issuing. Customers today and banks today require to issue the cars basically almost instantaneously. And this means that you have to build up complete solutions that can be provided to system integrators for the banks at the field on a global level. And you can imagine this involves, again, services, hardware and software which is another challenge. So the old solution has to be, again, secure and deliverable on a scalable base. And that's where we're going. We basically started as a very small company and we developed over the years in, the, in the medium-sized companies. Thanks to product portfolio, very high investment in R&D and technologies and first-class people. These are the three elements that makes Matica, I would say, unique in the industry.